How's it going guys? My name is Jake Fogg and welcome back to episode number 12 of my FC Andorra Let's Play on Football Manager 2020. It's our playoff final thing today, even though we're already promoted. I guess this is kind of just a game between us and Valencia B, who obviously will also already be promoted, to kind of decide who is the second division B winner, I guess. Um, I'm not particularly bothered, <laughs> to be honest, whether or not we win. It'd be nice to win, <clears throat> but I was just more bothered about getting promoted in the first place. So, yeah, I guess this is kind of a little bit of a bonus episode. Um, I am going to bring... I'm going to start Fidalgo ahead of Bosdagan, just because I don't think I'll be bringing back Bosdagan next year. Um... And I think that is probably the only change that I will make. Um, yeah. So I guess just get just get straight into this game. Proceed to match. Yes, thank you very much. So I think Valencia B actually finished out of all of the teams in the second division B. I believe that Valencia B finished the highest on the highest points total. Sorry, uh, if I just look at the. Just look at the league table. Oh no, they finished at 82. Oh, so they were pretty pretty much level with me. Uh, I can't remember. Was it... If I go to B4... If I just look at their league table. Fuen Labrada finished on 86. So does that mean that Leonesa finished on the highest points out of anyone and we managed to beat them? It does indeed. Leonese, oh that was a that's not a particularly tight league, was it? Leonese, well, I guess it's tight up at the top. Leonese are 88, Vigo B85, Ponferrad on 82, but then fourth place down in 70. So I don't know, maybe that was just like a weak league, and that's why Leonese got such a good. Um, they lost eight, only drew one game, and lost eight. That's pretty in, pretty insane. Anyway, it's not really important, is it? Um, just <laughs> just waffling on. Uh, encourage it's the home leg first. Like I say it'd be nice to win this, but I won't be particularly upset if we don't win it because it's a bit of a nothing game really. We're already promoted. And that was my goal. So the first highlight coming in is a throw in to us, Nunez to Fidalgo, back to Nunez to Fidalgo. Puts it into Andres to River Roll, he's hit the post and as he can't quite get there to follow it up. A promising start. <clears throat> Corner's going to be taken, whipped in by Batista Meyer. T falls to Izzy. Oh, he plays out Santa Maria. What's he going to do to Mai? Santa Maria. Back to Nunez. And, okay, that was a, a great highlight. <laughs> oh, we've got a free kick just inside their half. Hilmar to Gilmore. What on earth has gone on there? Now they're on the attack. He's just waltzed straight through the defence, but Banyu's is there. To make the save after he's kicked it straight at him. <laughs> dreadful finish. Dreadful finish. But the resulting corner and the Vara whips it in. It's gone over absolutely everyone. And Gilmar picks it up at the opposite corner. And that is the end of the highlight. But now it's a throw in. Hilmar to River Roller. Inside to Fidalgo. The ball bounces around a little bit. But Fidalgo gets it back. Puts it in. But it's cleared. But he's only got as far as Gilmar to Nunez. Yeah, to Gilmar. Gilmar to Batista Meyer. Go on, son. Whips it in to Izzy, and he's just put it wide at that far post. Half an hour gone, we've been a better team. Just going to give him a little shout for these last ten minutes to get creative. Oh, sparked, absolutely sparked a revolution, and Andres' head has gone wide. See, so, oh, they're all inspired by my feedback. Look at that, only two shots on target, which is not, not grand. Billy Gilmore's injured. That's what I wanted. Potential shoulder in potential shoulder injury. So I'll bring on Bosdagan. And I'll drop Fidalgo back into that deep line playmaker role. Oh, that's not ideal. But at least he's only on loan. Although that'll mean if he's badly injured, Chelsea will cancel his loan and I won't be able to renew his loan at the same Oh no, that is not good. That is not good. I don't like that. Oh no, because if it's like what happened with Kitalano, <clears throat> as soon as Kitalano got injured, they just straight up recalled him. And I definitely do not want that happening because he's on quite a lot of money and I was getting him getting, on a, getting him on a pretty cheap deal. But I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. 
Oh, corner here, Batista Meyer. Whips it in, Andres at the back post, and he's hit it off the bar. Oh, is he's picked up a knock, which I don't like, so I'm just going to bring on, bring on Fran Pasta. See if he can make a little bit of a difference. Everyone's getting booked in that midfield. Jesus, there is a highlight going on, but I'm going to quickly bring on Molina for River Roller and get back to the highlight as they clear it to Mai. Plays it into Bosdigan. What a ball to Batista Mai that is, but he can't squeeze it past the keeper. Ah, so close. The resulting corner, Batista Mai has gone for uh, Andres again, but nowhere to pass on Molina. And it's a little bit of a bounce, and they're going to clear it away for a throw-in. And that is going to be the end of the highlight again. <clears throat> Just 20 minutes left. I'm going to demand more. We've been all over them here. We really need to just get get one goal. Just relax us a little bit going into the second leg. But they've got a throw in on the edge of our box. Back to Ruiz, to Navarro, to Ruiz. Plays it to the edge of the box to Ferrer. And that is a really nice finish. Oh, not deserved that at all. Not deserved that at all. Uh, let's have a look at this. Ruiz into Navarro plays it back to Ruiz and I believe to the edge of the box to Fer Ferrer, Ferrer, and quite a nice strike. In fact, it went a little bit central, but good strike from the edge of the box to beat Banus. And there's only five minutes left in this game. I have 28 shots and only eight on target. It's a bit of a joke. 67% possession as well. I can't believe that we've lost this game. Gonna gonna tell them how angry I am at them. Grr, aggressive. That was not good enough tonight. That was the sort of match we should be winning. Oh, we're just gonna have to do him, do him in the next uh, in the next game. Oh no! Oh, he's broken his collarbone. I've already seen it. Billy Gilmore has been recalled from his loan spell at FC Andorra. Oh my God! Because now the problem is. <clears throat> are they going to want him? Want to let him go out on loan? And if they are going to want to let, if they are going to let him go out on loan, I'll probably have to pay that full eleven k a week, which I don't want to do. Oh, uh, that is frustrating. He likes me, and he likes Andorra. Why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't he come back? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna revisit him in the summer. <clears throat> See if I can get a loan offer for him. I have actually off camera. I did put in an offer for this guy, Alex Rico. Offered him a contract. Um, he's a decent, decent player, um, but I don't know if he'll actually want to join. Well, no, I don't know. Barcelona might offer him a new contract. I've offered him on a pre-contract. Did make an offer for this guy, but I think I was offering him offering him quite big wages. He's consistent, he's a second division level player, but I just think for the wages that I've offered him, I think I can get better, so I think I'm actually going to cancel his contract offer. I'm going to withdraw it, because I don't want him anymore. Because <laughs> he wanted, he did want silly money to play for me, but... Anyway, I will now catch, I will now just play on and come back for leg number two. Or if anything interesting happens in between, I'll show that as well. Oh, Forrest have made an offer for Manu Ape. 275 grand with a minimum fee release clause of 900,000. No, thank you. I know he's not been incredible for me this season. I mean, 13 goals and a 7.04 average rating. It's not bad, but if I just look at his, like the games that he scored goals in, you know, nothing, nothing here. Look, hat trick there, hat trick there, and one goal there. And I'm pretty certain three of his, another three of his goals came in one game as a hat trick. So out of his 13 goals, um, in what is that, 30 games in the league, I think nine of them have come across three games, meaning that in 27 other games he's only scored four goals, and it's just not very good. Whereas Andres has just scored a lot of goals, like consistently. You know, he's kind of scoring one or two goals a game, pretty much. So, uh, and as I expected, Rico, 
who I said would be my replacement for Billy Gilmore, has accepted Barcelona's new contract. Which isn't fun, and I'm assuming that the other guy that I've tried to sign off Barcelona will also accept their contract. <sighs> and right on cue, Mika Marmol has agreed a new contract with Barcelona. So, two players that I was really, really hoping I'd be able to get a nice little deal on have gone to Barcelona, but I was, I was expecting it. I, I thought it was going to happen, but oh well. It's just more work for me to do over the uh, summer period. And I will obviously have to bring in Bosdegan. And let's bring Ryan to the bench. So same team as the last game. Um, apart from Bosdegan um, in for Gilmore and moving Bosdegan into the advanced playmaker role. And playing Fidalgo in that deep lying playmaker role. So let's go. Uh, yeah, go on, you're right, let's tell them to take revenge, oh, motivation, motivation, they all seem so happy, passionate, I have faith in you, go out, and make their go out there and make a difference, <laughs> my team talk was better. Obviously we are 1-0 down, undeservedly, after how we played in that last game, so hopefully, if we put in a similar performance today, I'd like to think that we'd be able to get a decent result out of them here. Oh, Nunez with the throw in. I was getting ready to do a little touchline shout. Fifteen minutes in, down the line to Bosdegan. He gets tackled. And are they going? Are we going to win it back, or are they going to come on the counter? Long ball over the top. Navarro's going to get to it. Being marked by uh, Lucas. My what a tackle to win the ball back. He plays it forward to Batista. Maya. Oh, what a ball that. Oh no. Oh, defender slips up, and Andres has put it wide. Oh, just after I was bigging up, bigging him up. Puts it wide, but ball flowed in from Batista. Mike comes to nothing straight to the keeper, and he's in a lot of space. I do not like that. The keeper's taken his time, and he's tried to find him, but he's gone too far. It's just gone straight to Hilmar. Plays it to Santa Maria. He plays it forward to Bostigan. Back to Hilmar. To Riverola. Takes it past a couple. To Andres. To Bostigan. Andres is running far, but with Riverola. Looks for Batista Mar, but goes over and Nunez gets it into Batista Mar, swings the ball in and the defender wins it. But they only clear it as far as Hilmar to Riverola. Is he going to have a strike? No, he's not to Bosdegan. Shot is blocked and they're going to come on the counter attack and he's one on one and he puts it in the back of the net. I cannot believe that they've just scored after all of that. It's just a... Uh, Show some passion, fellas. Oh, I actually can't believe. Can't believe that. Looked for so long like we were going to have a good opportunity. Never quite carved one out and they just counter and just one-on-one -on -one easy finish for them. Another highlight, Hilmar. Takes a throw to Bost again. Plays it back to Hilmar. Takes it forward and plays it back to Santa Maria. Plays it all the way back to Banyu's in net. What's he going to do with it? He's taking his time. He's taking his time. Come on. And he, after all that, he just gives it to Santa Maria. Anyway, plays it across to Mai, to Fidalgo, to Bostigan. Back to Fidalgo. Plays it through to Andres. He's one-on-one. -on -one. Can he put it in the back of the net? No, he can't. And then he just boots it out for a throw-in. Uh, it's not good. Highlight, and there, Nacho Munoz has just gone straight through Hilmar. He's already booked. And he's off. So now, we've got to play 45 minutes against 10 men, which is very, very nice. Just tell them that, um, tell them to show me something else in the second half, as we are going to be playing against 10 men. Starts it off with a corner. Batista, Maya, but Endress heads it over. But it's a positive start. Look at these ratings, they are disgraceful, man. Not right, a lot happening here. I'm going to demand a bit more from them, try and... Try firing up, fire him up a little bit. Ooh, focused. Focused after my little shout. And there's a highlight. Hilmar takes throw into Riverola. Into Bosdegan. Into Hilmar. He gets tackled. And they're on the ball. And their cross field ball is Nunez going to get it? No, their left back got it. What's he going to do if he played through Navarro? Please don't. And Banyus makes the save. Thank God for that. <laughs> Might bring on might go two up top in a second 
That is a terrible foul. He's got to be booked for that. Come on. Oh, well, without everyone playing, I'm going to take off Bosdegan. Uh, switch Andrus to be that deep lying forward and put Ape up front. Oh, there, it's all going off in background. Going very attacking. Uh, I'm going to make Fidalgo. Oh, nope, sorry. Not. I'm going to make him an advanced playmaker on attack. Which gives a little bit more going forward. And I think I'll switch Batista Meyer over to the left. And bring on Fran Pasta on the right for Izzy. Because Izzy's just not playing well at all. I just go at him for this last half an hour. Um, a man down really should be carving out more opportunities. But just nothing. Absolutely nothing at the moment. It was a highlight. My plays it forward. Pasta just about keeps it in. Their defender plays a nice little one-two with him. And now they're on the attack. Navarro just absolutely burnt my and he's just kicked it straight at Banyu's Andres is having an absolute shocker uh, it's not good 10 minutes remaining okay, let's see if, see if they'll show some passion they're fired up by it come on but it's their throwing can we win it back cross goes straight to Banyu's and this, this oh no it's a penalty Oh my. Navarro steps up and slots into the bottom corner. Oh, this is fucking disgraceful. Playing absolute shit. Don't even want to watch it. Oh, what dreadful end to the season this has been. I'm, I mean, like I said, I'm actually not that bothered because we're still promoted. But it would have been nice to win. And after that first that first game, just frustrating, wasn't it? Uh, what was that, my? Navarro through again. Just taking piss now. Oh, my God, what a goal that is. It's his third goal of the season. Oh, my God. It's actually embarrassing. Down to ten men. And they've still managed to put three past us. Uh, what's going to happen here? Oh, oh, what a finish. What a great finish. He was offside anyway, but... Ape gets tackled. Uh, fuck, bloody hell. Won't take any prisoners there, worry. Won't take any risks. Nunez to Fidalgo, and it's just bounced off the defender. Can this game just finish, please? <laughs> Oh my god, what is going on here? It's probably lagging really badly, it's looking a bit laggy for me. Andres, Nunez, Pastor. It's not much use scoring now, is it? Please, just blow the whistle ref, there we go. Post-match, don't care. Let's just absolutely rip into them. Far from pleased with what I've just seen. Defence. Not happy with your defensive work. Midfield. Not happy with your playmaking efforts. Strikers especially. I'm not happy with your finishing. You were shocking. Uh, well. That is that. Is that. I, uh, I guess. That is the end of the season. Bit of a sour note to end it on. But. Ultimately, we've still been promoted. Look at that. A 1 0 and a 3 0 loss to finish off the season. Ah, uh, yeah. We've still been promoted. So, the next episode will be. I don't know if I'll play a game in the next episode, but I'm going to spend a lot of time beefing up this squad. Um, I don't really want to be relying on loanies too much, which I kind of have been recently. Like, I know I've. I started off the season with six of my starting eleven were players on loan. I don't I mean I mind having a couple of players on loan, like players like players of the quality of Olivia uh, Batista Meyer or Oliver Batista Meyer. It's it's hard for me to sign players of that quality, and if I can get him on a three k a week contract again for the season or maybe even two seasons, I think that'd be I'd happy to keep him. Bostigan, I won't be renewing because I've got um, Fidalgo. Sorry. Who's just better than him, and I can try and find like a youngster to bring in. Um, 
as backup. Nunez, actually a really good player. But again, if I can, and Lucas my, I'll probably, if anyone's going to bring be brought back, Nunez my and Batista Meyer. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'll be able to bring him back. Like Batista Meyer, um, Bayern might want to keep him. Bayern might not want to let him go. So, who knows. But anyway, that is the end of this episode. Thank you for watching. And as always, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next episode.